In a previous video, we learned about acid and base solutions. Most solutions change pH significantly when an acid or base is added to them. However, there are solutions that can resist changes in pH. These are called buffer solutions. Buffer solutions resist changes in pH by neutralizing any added acid or base. Buffers must contain either a significant amount of a weak acid and its conjugate base, or they can contain significant amounts of a weak base and its conjugate acid. An example of a buffer system is human blood. Human blood is buffered to a pH of 7.4 by a combination of carbonic acid, which comes from dissolved carbon dioxide, and the bicarbonate ion HCO3-. As more acid is added to the blood, the base HCO3- neutralizes it. So for example, HCl can react with sodium bicarbonate aqueous to produce carbonic acid and sodium chloride. On the other hand, if base is added to a system with a buffer, the carbonic acid neutralizes the added base. So for example, sodium hydroxide added to this buffer solution would react with the carbonic acid to produce water and sodium bicarbonate. In a previous video about equilibrium, we learned that, based on Le Chatelier's principle, if a product is added to a system in equilibrium, the system shifts in the direction to make more reactant and reduce the product concentration. For example, if we had an acetic acid solution in water, the acetic acid could ionize with the water present to produce hydronium ion and the acetate ion. If we add some acetate ion to the system, according to Le Chatelier's principle, the system would shift to the less. What this means is that with the acetate ion present, less of the acetic acid would dissolve. At the same time, this means that the hydronium ion concentration would decrease so that if the acetate ion is already present in solution, the solution is less acidic than if it was just a solution of the acetic acid. You should recognize the, that the above equation with both acetic acid and its conjugate base acetate ion present is actually a buffer solution composed of a weak acid and its conjugate base. This example demonstrates what's known as the common ion effect. Since the solution contains two compounds that share a common ion, in this case, the acetate ion, which is present in both sodium acetate and acetic acid. While a 0.100 molar acetic acid solution has a pH of 2.90, a solution with both 0.1 molar acetic acid and 0.1 molar sodium acetate, in other words, a buffer solution, would have a pH of 4.7. It would be less acidic due to the common ion effect. By now, you should be able to define a buffer solution. You should be able to describe the components needed for a solution to be a buffer solution. You should also be able to describe what happens when small amounts of acid or base are added to a buffer solution. Finally, you should be able to describe the common ion effect.